Hey guys, it's Christine. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I talk about budgeting in my bullet journal. Um, I feel like I haven't been on here in a hot minute. <laughs> Maybe because I haven't filmed anything since um, I think before my daughter's senior night. I, I don't even remember anymore. But the last thing I filmed was um, my November paycheck number one. And so this is the weekly check-in for that paycheck. Um, the spending tracker will go from November 2nd to November 8th, and we're just gonna get right into it. So how are you guys doing? By the way, I wanna thank everybody for watching this video. And for those who have subscribed to me, thank you very much. I recently hit 400 subscribers, so I will be doing something coming up shortly. I still have to work out the details of it. I've been hanging around in the like 350s for a long time and then just all of a sudden kind of just started climbing up again. So I just want to thank everybody who's, you know, been here from the beginning and also if you've just come aboard recently i want to thank you also so <laughs> without further ado we're gonna get right to this so on the 2nd of november i sent my daughter 40 dollars to load on her wash app what actually happens is that i have linked my credit card to her wash app and she lets me know or asks me permission to go ahead and load money to that. Um, but yeah, I sent her $40 roughly every month. Um, but I do set aside like $20 a paycheck for that. So that's that. And then on the third, I did get my hair done. So it cost me $200 and this red we haven't seen in a long, long time, probably since, not since April. Um, I finally got some highlights and a haircut, and I also left a very nice tip. This person is actually the one who does my sister's hair, <laughs> and I love my sister's hair. She d she goes pretty bold um, with her hair. So the last time I got a haircut was April 16th. That cost me $366, and that was all of her highlights and um, a diva cut. And also a tip. So my appointment was actually $155 and I left a $45 tip um, just because I felt like I felt listened to like um, and she was really nice <laughs> but most of all she asked me like what I wanted to do with my hair what I kind of envisioned for it like from the get go, like even through texts and leading up to my appointment, me sending her like, um, I guess, inspo photos and just even at the appointment, I'm kind of holding my hand <laughs> every step of the way because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my hair. Um, I mean, I kind of had an idea, but sometimes when you have an idea in your head versus how it ends up on your hair, it doesn't usually translate. But yeah, so I knew I wanted highlights. I knew I wanted them a little bit lighter and not as orangey as my previous person used to do it. I don't know why they turned out orangey before, but um, these, it, it looks really good. Um, I will insert a photo. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so my hair is naturally wavy, so I can't actually get that effect um, in this photo unless I you know, blow dry it straight and then curl iron it and all, and I don't have time to do that. So I liked how it turned out that day, but also I like how it looks even when I'm the one doing with doing my hair, which is basically just um, scrunching and air drying and yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it's too much hair talk. If I feel brave enough, maybe one of these days I'll post a picture of what my hair looks like if I've done it. Um, so also on the third, I did stop by the corner store and I got two boxes of capris. Those are my cigarettes. So that's $23 and 73 cents out of my allowance category. 
And on the 4th, I did go to the DMV. Um, this was the Friday, so that was a travel day. And I had like the morning really to run errands. Um, I could have gone to work, I chose not to. Um, yeah, I had to go to the DMV, get that real ID. Um, that is basically where you present documents to the DMV to show that you are here. Um, I don't even know, Do you, like, is it a citizenship thing? I am not sure, but I needed it. You need a real ID if you want to fly, I believe starting in 2023. I'm not sure what month because they kept moving it up. The original date for that to start was like in 2020, but you all know what happened and they just kept moving it up, moving it up. And I decided it was finally time. So I went ahead and did that, um, even though it's not really needed until 2023. Anyone who's wondering, I don't have my passport. So, <laughs> I mean, I guess if I wanted to, I could just, you know, get a passport. But this was faster, cheaper, um, and I don't really plan on leaving the country. So that's that. Um, on the 4th, I did spend $6.77 at the Dollar Tree. I got my daughter a poster board. I got some markers and ABC. I think I got stickers. Yeah, I got stickers because I needed to make her another poster board. Um, this was not for her senior night. This is for her last um, weekend of games. She was going to hit a milestone that weekend, and I wanted to have a big old sign um, to celebrate it. So that was exciting. And she did meet it, by the way, not on the Friday game, but on the Saturday game. And that was amazing to be there and to get to watch. So on the 4th, um, I did spend $6 on parking. That was an away game. It's always nice when I don't have to pay $10. Um, I did pay $10.50 for game tickets, and that's for two adults, which is pretty reasonable um, considering what it's been at other venues. <laughs> On the 5th, that was a Saturday. So I think this is the one where I drove there and then drove back. I spent $54.94 from Costco to get gas, and that was $4.69.9 per gallon. Um, yeah, I, it was that or drive up a little bit farther and stay the night, but I figured it was pretty close to home and I wanted to sleep in my own bed that night. So I decided I would just, you know, spend the gas money. On the 5th, I did spend $4 on parking and that was the away game. I spent $20 for game tickets at that other venue, which is for two adults. And uh, we did go out to eat to celebrate my daughter's last game, and I spent $130 at the Olive Garden. So that was three entrees, one appetizer. Um, I love calamari. I always have to get it. I, you know, <laughs> two drinks and a tip. So the two drinks, um, <laughs> my daughter was like, uh, it's my last day. I don't have to play anymore. And even though she was technically still with the team and I was just taking her out to dinner. So at first I didn't feel like, you know, I should get her a drink, but she talked me into it. She is over, she is 21. So I got her one. Um, funny story. And she actually pointed this out. So she signed her letter of intent um, that is basically a contract with the school for her to play for them. And it has like, you know, what monies she was going to be um, provided and all that good stuff. And it had like the rules and regulations of what she could and could not do, you know, code of conduct, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, so she signed her national letter of intent at Olive Garden I mean, here at home, not the same Olive Garden, but that was sort of a, you know, a nice way to close her career um, to go to the Olive Garden on her last game night and just celebrate um, her 
not only, you know, finishing her career in her sport, but also reaching the milestone that she did. And I wish I could share more. <laughs> I wish I could share more. But again, it's the whole privacy thing. So anyhow, um, on the 5th, so we did stay at the Hampton Inn and it was $189.29. This is not the same Hampton Inn that we stay at. And they did charge me $10 for parking. I was unaware that they charged parking, but I should have known because it is close to the airport. I mean, I should have known better. But, you know, $10 for parking is not too bad considering um, some places charge like 20 or more. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. So on the 6th, which is a Sunday, I did spend $71.35 for gas. The gas costs $4.69.9 per gallon. And on the 6th, I Apple paid my daughter $50. Um, that was to get her an Uber. So, okay, so this is Monday and Tuesday Uber because it was going to rain. She rides her bike to her... Um, she does hours off campus and basically she rides her bike over there and I did not want her to ride her bike in the rain and I didn't think that she would be any better off if she rode the bus because it was a bit of a walk to the bus stop um, both ways. So I did send her $50. I took it out of my gas category. Um, I mean, it turns out fine, and it did rain really hard, especially on the Tuesday. So I'm glad I sent her that. And for $235, I did put that towards my debt for breaks. So I am, I do owe money on my breaks. And I went ahead and wrote that in over here. So $235 for breaks. And I still owe $332.84. So that's it for this spending tracker. And as you know, I am going to go ahead and put it on here. I already put it on here, but I'm going to go over it with you guys really quick. So this is something I always need to do, even if I'm not doing a video. This just helps keep, my, keep myself on track um, as far as my budget. So for gas and car, I started out the paycheck with $99.45. I spent $50. That was for the Uber. So I'm left with $49.45. Groceries, I didn't spend anything. So that's at $130. Household, I spent nothing also, $76.08. This is me just being tight on my budget. Um, we do have food. We have, um, you'll see in my next paycheck I do go grocery shopping but like for example when we buy rice we buy like a 50 pound bag of rice we buy like everything pretty much is in bulk um yeah <laughs> so and we also go out to eat but this is just that one one time so I I don't know what to say I didn't spend anything this week on household or groceries. So for eating out, I did spend $130. That was the Olive Garden. So I only budgeted 70, so I'm in the negative 60. But I am going to take from these other categories once I close this budget out, just to balance my numbers. Copays, I didn't spend anything, so that still has $99.90. Um, meds. Same thing, didn't spend anything. Um, I will be probably in the following week be getting some going to urgent care um, because I can't or I don't see my doctor till December. So I've had to get a new doctor and they didn't have an opening for establishing care until December. Um, so I have to go urgent care to get my meds refilled. So yeah, that'll be fun. Um, for allowance, I spent $23.73. That leaves me with $36.27. Fun money. 
started with zero, ended with zero. Cate uncategorized, I spent $6.77. That was at the Dollar Tree, and I am left with $13.23 to roll over into the following week. So all in all, in week one, I spent $210.50, and I'm left with $390.25. So for gas and car, for travel, I started with $140, and I spent $126.29. I'm left with $13.71. So for hotel, I did start with $453.65. Um, I spent... 189.29. So this is the hotel stay. If I were to take this money out of what I had to start with, I would have $264.36. But I will show you what did I do with that? I did pay $325. Um from here. I haven't done another debt update update video because I know I just posted one, um, but I will probably next week, like after tomorrow's paycheck, I'm going to see where everything settles and go ahead and make another payment towards that. For parking, I started with $62.72. I only spent $10, so that leaves me with $52.72. And for tickets, I only had or I had $58.03 left, I spent $30.50, and I'm left with $27.53. And I'm really excited to have money left over here because I am probably going to use this to roll into my hotel debt. So all in all, if you look at spending, I spent $356.08 in the travel category. And um, if I do just the straight math here, I've got $358.32 left. So those are not the real numbers though, because this is still sitting on a credit card and this whole hotel line is so, so messed up. Um, it causes me a lot of stress just looking at it, but that's why I do the debt updates because it gets me right back on track with knowing what my actual numbers are. And now that I'm not staying in hotels, um, the following paycheck will be a lot more straightforward as far as like paying off the debt because I won't be adding more towards the debt, if that makes sense. So food for my daughter, I did start with $50.80. I didn't spend anything and I am left with $50.80. For laundry, I started with $40. I spent 40, so now that's zero. And for other, there's nothing. Started with nothing, ended with nothing. So $40 total spent, $50.80 left over. Can you guys still see that? Okay. So, scoop this up. So for beauty, for hair, I did start with $250. I spent $200 and I am left with $50. I'm probably going to roll this over into brows because um I ended up making an appointment, but that's for another video. So <laughs> I'll let you guys know when that happens. Um, for brows, I have $148.09. I didn't spend anything and it's still left with $148.09. For car maintenance, I did spend $266.66 and I'm left with $31.53. This includes the money that I put towards um, the debt for that. I think. So I only put 235 there. 35. Oh, you know what? I spent money. I spent money to go to the DMV out of that money too. So fun. Gifts and giving, I didn't spend anything. I do have $27.96, and I'm gonna use this for my giveaway for reaching 400 subscribers. Um, subscriptions, I didn't spend anything this week, so that still has $32.39. Um, my stuff, I believe, renews towards more towards the end of the month. Um, 
don't quote me on that, but that's, you know, that's where we're going. So new line here, I did add my Santa saver over here just so I can keep track of like what I spend. So it's starting out with $500.18. I looked it up. I thought it was 14 cents, but it did get that four cents of interest. So hooray. So um, like in one year, this $500 only earned eight, 18 cents, which is kind of sad, but yeah. It's not a high yield savings, that's why. Uh, so $500.18 is what I am left with for Christmas shopping. And I have started looking and I bought a few things, but I think I'm gonna wait till Black Friday to buy some of the bigger things that I wanna get. Um, but yeah, I'm kinda hoping this goes far because it's not a lot of money. Um, but I know the people that I'm buying gifts for are not, you know, they're not concerned about the price tag. They, it's more like the thought that counts type thing, but I still do want to get nice, de decent gifts. So anyhow, that's it for this video. I want to say thank you guys again for watching. If you did enjoy this video, I will go ahead and link up my November paycheck number one video where I do a budget with me and maybe you'll see like where all this money um, was coming from or how it was allocated and yeah so I will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye guys